Hello and welcome to Andan's channel, my channel, and also welcome to a reaction for Solo, a Star Wars story teaser trailer. The US of A had a Super Bowl yesterday, and with that came a bunch of trailers, and with them a little tease for Solo, a Star Wars story, which is of course the Han Solo movie. I'm just gonna call it the Han Solo movie rather than Solo, a Star Wars story. <laughs> During the Super Bowl, they released a one minute thing, but then just a few hours ago, they released a little teaser trailer that was 40 seconds longer, and that's the one I'm going to react to but before I react I feel like we need to talk a bit about this movie <laughs> I like Star Wars and obviously because of the fan reception of The Last Jedi people are going to be quite ugh about this movie this is a movie that I don't think a lot of people asked for I know I didn't I mean I'm not really that excited for this movie which is why I'm hoping that this trailer can can like can win me over can prove me wrong because as of right now I'm in the mindset of I know Han Solo. I don't feel like I have to know how he met Chewie. I feel like they need to explain everything about a character's past in a movie. It's just like... And then also, you know, because it's not Harrison Ford. It's a different actor. And I'm I'm not gonna think about that so much. The fact that, oh, he doesn't sound like Harrison Ford. Or he doesn't really look like Harrison Ford. It's an actor's interpretation, so... Mm. As long as he has, like, the, the spirit of Han Solo, I suppose. Basically, with this teaser trailer, I just want to get a feel of what this movie is, what the story might be, and all of that. This movie has had some troubles behind the scenes. It switched directors, like, three weeks before finishing production, which is, like... That's a really good sign. <laughs> so why don't I just check the trailer and then form my opinion afterwards? Whoa. This is music I didn't expect. <laughs> I was kicked out of the flight academy for having a mind of my own. Okay, I like the visuals. I'm gonna be a pilot. The best in the galaxy. Ooh, white. <laughs> hey, kid. I'm putting together a crew. Is that a me? Oh, yeah, Amelia Clark. I mean, like Clark was in the movie, but the the Afro chick. Ooh. That might be <laughs> of course, casino scenes. That's interesting design. Well, that's awesome. Ooh. That didn't look that good. Whoa, this scene looks awesome, though. Holy shit! I thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> Holy shit! Fucking space kraken. Um, I have to say, just based on this, it looks like a fun little movie that I'm probably gonna like and actually see. But it doesn't really look like it's more than that. I also feel like the fact that it is a Han Solo movie, that almost m makes it feel like a bit more ugh than if it's just like random characters in a Star Wars movie. Like if this wasn't, like the fact that this is a movie about Han Solo, it doesn't excite me more than if it was just like random characters, which I guess could be a a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. Before I go through this trailer and analyze it a bit more so I can see some more things, because obviously things move very quickly here, I have to talk about why I reacted to the title text that way. This title text looked... it didn't look that good. Really looked like a PowerPoint presentation. Look at the animation! I mean, ugh! I mean, it looks fine when it's, when it's there, but when it goes there... That doesn't know. I don't. It looked like something you'd find in a cartoon. I have to say, I don't really like that animation. Obviously, it's just for for the trailers, so that's gonna be fine. And it does look okay when it's solid. Okay, so we have Han flipping some switch. He does sound young. He sounds like a teenager, but he doesn't look like a teenager. We have Amelia Clark, because <laughs> I don't know her character's name, and then Han Solo being chased by the Empire. I would assume, and that looked. That looked good. I'm going to assume that this movie takes place, like, on the outer rim of the galaxy, since Han isn't familiar with the Jedi. He believes that those are all myths, so, so this movie should take place on the outskirts of of this galaxy. He wants to be a pilot. The best of the galaxy. Oh, he has some high aspirations, kid. This area here looks interesting, like the rock formations and everything. And then we have Woody Harrelson. I'm assuming he's supposed to be his mentor. 
from putting together a crew, so that's probably gonna be whoa. And then we have Emilia Clark in a completely different getup. Doesn't look like she's part of the Empire. It looks like maybe she's some separate faction. I like the design of the droid behind her. And then we have this character, and I froze there because she reminds me of Han Solo's wife a bit. Maybe it's just because she's black and I'm racist. <laughs> but she sort of does actually with her getup. Um, obviously. Han Solo's wife, that, that whole thing it was something in the comic books. She's not actually Han Solo's wife. Read, read, read the comic books. Sana something, I think her name is. Could she be that character? Could you imagine like a comic book character being inside a movie? That would never happen, so obviously she's not that character. But hey, speculation and theory, that's fun. And Chewie's already with Han. Okay, that's interesting. And then of course it wouldn't be a Star Wars movie without a cantina casino scene, am I right folks? Ha! Huh? This, I really like this dude's design over here. I wonder what this guy is. Now we have some action, ships, now we have a cool ass explosion. And now we have this scene which looks absolutely awesome. With a, It's like a vortex and you see a star destroyer and you see a bunch of TIE fighters chasing them. And then you have a like, giant fucking space kraken which to, to simply movie fans that might be weird to see like a fucking space kraken, but of course the Star Wars universe has space whales that can go to hyperspace. I have to say though, I feel like if, if you're more familiar with the expanded universe, the canon expanded universe, I'm sorry, <laughs> not Star Wars Legends, but like the animated show like, like Star Wars Rebels and then the comic books, I feel like those types of people would like what they see in this movie more than just movie fans. Because this almost does have a bit more of a rebel -y feel. It's gonna be more of like the Empire, like controlling shit. And he's living in a world where the Empire controls things and obviously he's not gonna do anything about it, you know, because he's in the underworld. I don't know, I am honestly a bit conflicted. Because when watching all the other Star Wars trailers, I always get this sense of like woohoo excitement. And I don't really for this. And I feel like the fact that it is a movie about Han Solo and the actor here portraying Han Solo, the way Han, the way Han Solo is in this trailer, doesn't scream Han Solo to me. Honestly, if I were to watch this movie having no idea about the title, having no idea about, you know, which character this movie was about, I probably even wouldn't even connect the dots that he's Han Solo. <laughs> Besides, of course, that it is the Millennium Falcon and Chewbacca is there. I'm totally gonna watch it because it did look fun. I feel like I need to see a story trailer to actually grab me because this honestly hasn't really grabbed me yet. I'm interested to see what type of character Emilia Clark plays because she seems to have a huge role in this. But yeah, no, as soon as they announced Solo a Star Wars story, I was never really that excited because I feel like there's so many characters you can make a movie about and Han Solo mm. but hey those were my honest opinions and my honest reaction to the Solo a Star Wars story trailer uh, teaser not trailer now I want to hear your opinions about the Han Solo movie teaser trailer huh are you excited about Han Solo are you not excited about do you share like my concerns and my opinions about it or do you have some other opinions do you feel like i'm completely wrong if that's the case feel free to write your thoughts in the comment section down below and i love you all and i'll see you guys whenever i see you guys next and goodbye it's still star wars <laughs>